Hey man, it's your boy, Eric, aka Young God, man. Coming to you live in the white dungeon, man. Getting it to you real rugged and um like the like 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 the Breakfast Club uh say we got a special guest in the building. Hey man, who who we got? Who we got, man? Yeah, you hear me? No. Yeah, man, we got uh we got Molly Raw in here, man. How you doing today, man? I'm good, how are you? Hey, I'm great, man. Great. I'm talking to Molly Raw, man. Um, let's get straight into it, man. How did you start? What you producing, man? How you getting to that? I first got started. Uh, my cousin B Jones. Uh, he been he like he was making beats like all his life, and um, uh, I used to be always over his house, and uh, uh, I, I used to always like joke around and you know, you know, uh, you know, tell him like yeah, teach me how to uh, you know, teach me how to uh, make them mm -hmm. and stuff. And then just one day, <clears throat> I was just serious. I I told him. Teach me how to make them, and um, like he just he just um, like like for like it was literally like thirty seconds he just taught me like just the basics you know just like just a basic step but you know one like one step and just you know after that I just went home, and, you know got on my computer and just never stopped I just kept going every day after that you know like I just feel like music it just it just probably just always in me because. You know, when I was younger, I just always wanted to, like, play, I always wanted to, like, play drums, always wanted a drum set for Christmas, always, you know, in class, banging on tables, like, I just, I just feel like it was always in me, and then just, he, just being around it, it just made me you know, want to do it. Okay. Um, hey, b before we keep going into your music thing, I'm on your Instagram, I was just looking through your pictures, video, see if I could pick something up. And um, I noticed something. Tell me, I don't know if this is on purpose or not on purpose or not, but uh, I would imagine you getting a lot of success right now. You know, you got Russell Westbrook playing your beats and stuff. And I noticed uh -huh. you do not smile in your pictures, man. Like, is it, you're not a smiling guy. Like, was, was, <laughs> I, I was like, this nigga probably gonna shoot me if I asked the wrong question, man. <laughs> was, it was, what's up with that, man? You, you you should be the happiest nigga on earth right now, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smiling guy, but some, for some reason I don't be on smiling pictures. I don't be on purpose. It's just how I take the picture. Okay, like, okay. I'm about to take the picture. That's just how I be looking. Okay, okay. But I definitely, you know, smile. All right. I laugh a lot. Alright, alright. Um, you know, I, I love producers and I love, uh, I love the tags and you got the that 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 be Molly Wall. Uh -huh. uh, how's that? How did that come about? You break, you breaking up a little bit. My fault, my fault. You can hear me? You can hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, how did your that be Molly Wall? How did your tag come about? Oh, that's um, that's Uzi on the tag. Um, oh, that's like, Uzi. Probably, yeah, yeah. Probably like two years ago, back in Philly, we was in the studio. And I told him to um do my tag. I told him I needed a tag. He did it. He went in the booth. I threw on a beat. And he um, he just he just I played the beat. He just uh, he just started just saying anything. But like for me though, for to like to be my tag. Mm -hmm. So okay. that that. So when I heard that, I'm like, yeah, that's the one. That's Debbie Molly Ross. I just stuck with it. That's first. hard. That's hard. Uh, speaking of Uzi, how did you link up with bro? Uh, through I, I linked with him through my manager. Him, and my manager. Um, you know, they from the same hood mm -hmm. and they grew up together. So um, it was a guy that I was working with. His name's Core. He's both I'm becoming. You know, uh, one he, one time he um. He, Came out with a song and Uzi was on there. This was like the first time, like people in Philly like really heard Uzi. Like on, it, was, it was on that song, and uh, verse was crazy. After that, after I heard it, I told my manager, um, I want, I wanted to do something, you know. And, okay. we, and he put that together. Well, I see you've been working. I see you've been working for a little bit. Like when was, when what was the first beat and how was it when you first like heard when you got buzzing? Like what was the first song? of yours that's kind of started bubbling in the streets in the streets well like philly in philly it was a guy this guy um a rapper named uh quillian from philly that was popping at the time and um that was like my first like 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 placement it was on his mixtape and um and that was buzzing yeah that was buzzing and from then I was just, you know, everything just kept going up mm -hmm. after that, basically. And, you know, the Uzi and with the Uzi, 
when he um you know once he moved down down to Atlanta, that's that's when stuff like really took off. That's when it really took off. When he started like making music down there and switching his style up. Okay. That was, that was, well, speaking of Uzi again, we can go to so many songs with y'all boys. Y'all done y'all done put you some classic songs, but personally my recent favorite is uh Four of Us, the original Uzi. Uh, yeah. I just want to ask, how did that song come about? Was y'all in the studio together? Did you email him that yeah. day? Yeah, uh, yeah. How, yeah, how did that, that come about? That shit crazy. We was in the studio, and um, I made that. I made that right in front of him. Me and um, me and my uh, my guy named uh, Ike Ike Beats. We made it. it he was just mess, we were just messing around in the studio. Just for some reason, we could I couldn't come up with nothing. Like I couldn't come up with no ideas or nothing. And that that just came about. We were just playing around. We were just basically just playing around in the studio, just trying to come up with something. You know, we we even had Uzi on the uh, on the keys and stuff, playing around with it. And that just that just came about. I didn't even know he was gonna put that on his mixtape. Mm-hmm. Cause at first I'm like, man, this didn't, this joint just a little. We just played around on that. Like we ain't even. I didn't even know he was gonna put it on his on his mixtape. And that's like one of my favorite songs. So Uzi Uzi be producing too. Uzi trying to get on the on the beats too. Oh no no no! We was just in the studio, just playing around. I was fucking just, around. Like, yeah, just just messing around. Just I couldn't come up with nothing for some reason. And I just came about. No, I'm sorry. Like, I just got stuck. But that just we just came up with that. Like I just made that. Mm. Well, I mean, when, when y'all working together, how is a typical studio session with him go? Like, the, are y'all are y'all high? Are y'all like how how does that go? Like, how do y'all come up with the perfect song together in the studio? Um, you know, definitely smoke. Um, but you know, most of the time he be um like in in Atlanta and I'll be in Philly. You know, most of the time I send beats, but mm-hmm. um, you know, sometimes I'd be down I'd be down there, you know, making stuff with him and we just be in the studio just vibing, you know. Yeah. And uh crazy energy in there. You know. In the studio with Uzi, you never gonna be you never gonna be bored in the studio with Uzi. You never know what we got what's new with him. Like he's like a, he seemed like a charismatic nigga. Seemed like he's just all over the place sometimes. Yeah, I can tell. Um, well, yeah. Uh, focusing on you a little bit. Uh, I see you producing for more and more people outside of Uzi, and um, I see that's I see that's I noticed who you like mainly famous for as well, Uzi. But if you had to come up with a perfect dream lineup of rappers to produce for, who would be on that song? Just like the the dream list of rappers on one song that you could produce for. Like the dream list, like all time, rappers all time, rappers all time, right all time. Oh, all time. Jay Z, of course, that's mm. my favorite rapper. Um, Jay Z. Uh, the old, the old yay. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Them two for sure. How many people like? Five? Yeah, it, whatever you want, whatever you want. The perfect song. Just leave it there. We uh, that's already a lineup yes. right there. That's Fat. already a lineup. We leave kiss, it there. Kiss, kiss the last per- No, f- uh, Fab. Fab. Oh, okay. Kiss, okay. Kiss, kiss. okay. Kiss, my fuck. kiss the last person. Okay, kiss. Okay, that'd be fire. That'd be a fire song. Yeah. I, I would definitely love like that. Um, well, I love to talk to producers, and um, that's actually like I've been talking to a lot of Uzi producers. I just talked to Slade the Monster, Lyle LaDuff, and now I'm talking to you, and they all seem to have funny interesting stories producers love to have funny stories so i was wondering because yeah. you always behind the scenes and whatnot do you have a funny or crazy story about anybody it don't even gotta be about uzi it could be but anybody in the rap game it's just something that happened uh this nigga slate the monster would tell me how young thought was he he'll take a nap in the booth and then come up with a crazy song like any crazy stories you got that don't happen uh, what i got a lot 
lot. <laughs> uh, What's the first shit popping your head? It's 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 about Uzi, but it's kind of like I don't I don't want to. You don't want to spill it. Speak. I don't want, what do you want to spill that? But it was, that was a crazy moment. <laughs> I would imagine Uzi got some crazy shit, and you always yeah. you always got some yeah. shit going on. But it's, it's like shit you don't want to say though. Yeah, in, anything uh, you could say to the people out there it won't get it won't get you in trouble. Um, I just say you know a crazy session with Meek. Well, it wasn't really a session. We were just in the studio, just vibing. He was just playing like you know DC four and stuff. But he was drunk though. But like. He was just, you know, he was just talking his shit like the whole, the whole night. Us, it was just funny. He was just talking shit the whole night. Everything he rapped about, all that, everything, all that, he was just talking about that in the studio, just snapping. That shit was the bed, like. But he was dead serious though. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that nigga's a, a little funny. That, that, shit, that shit was funny though, cause he was drunk with it. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine he a crazy this boy too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Last question for me, and we will transition to the fans' question, and we out of here. Uh, last question for me. What are your end goals with this music rap? With this, with this music stuff, excuse me. What do you want to be at the end of the day? Like, what do you want your legacy to be known as? Are you in it for the money? What, like, what you want to be known as? I want to be known as, you know, you know, one of the best producers that ever lives. Yeah, as, you, as you should be trying to remember to be known as. What's that? I said that's the, that's the only thing that you should be trying to remember as man the best producer I ever did it man it's respectable. Um, right. KTT the fan questions the KTT questions and we out of here. Uh, first question comes from Debbie the rapper. Uh, she says, "Do you and Uzi have favorite snacks in the studios?" You said favorite snacks. Yeah. Um. Nah, I don't really got no favorite snacks. No favorite snacks? Okay. Um, OG Dollars asks, are you going to be on Love is Rage 2? I should be. Should I don't be. see why not. Okay. Uh, Sab Sad asks, are you going to drop a tape, are you going to drop a tape of your own with rappers on it? Yeah, for sure. Yep. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Look uh, out for that. Okay. Trey Beasy asks, do you have an Xbox or PlayStation? If you do have one, what's your favorite game to play? I used to I used to have an Xbox. I don't have it no more. But my favorite game was um was two uh, K and uh Grand Theft Auto. You good at two K? Yeah, 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 sure. And me and you might have to run that one day, man. See how that goes. <laughs> Let's get it. Uh, last question from Last King. He asks, "Have you worked on Cardi's new tape?" You said Cardi? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely got some work on there. Okay, that's that's that sounded good. Yeah, we're still working on, um, still working on some stuff. Okay, um, hey man, uh, anything you gotta say before we get out of here? Um, it's 2017, man, just stay tuned, you know, follow me on, you know, follow my Instagram, Twitter, Molly Raw, M-A-A-L-Y Raw, for all my socials, 2017. All right, man, I'm going to dog and tear it up next year. And um, thank you for uh, letting me do this interview. And, uh, hey, I'm going to see y'all boys next time. Until then, y'all already know I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters going to hate it. Players going to play. Highlight your boy, man. <laughs>